Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Redmi Note 7 Pro custom ROM reviews. You can see Android version 11, security patches 2022-61, February 1, 2021 is the Play System update, and kernel user is 4.14.240. Puff kernel has been used. Oxygen OS 11.0.9.1. It's a OnePlus 70 Pro port for Redmi Note 7 Pro. You can see this is a version here and i already made the flashing method check out the link in the description or you can go to my channel and check in the shorts section i made in the shorts video and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes and 11 seconds and 8 milliseconds you can see the maximum is 170 one and average is 123 and minimum is 98 and this is a 100 thread test guys it was around 10 minutes and 11 seconds you can see there is throttling going on but i don't believe in this uh, application results but still i can say one thing regarding this is because of we get all uh, the display the always on display because of that it's happening yes it is throttling a little bit i have noticed it and even the battery draining is too fast once you apply those settings i tell to disable those things if you are not interested in that and this is the settings panel which is smooth here and app opening time could have been better but it's okay we are speaking with this snapdragon 675 powered snap redmi note sampro it might be different different processor but powering with this processor still a very good capable chipset even in 2023 also i can say just it could have been better because of this rom i can say it's an android 11 with android 13 it's fine enough but that's the one thing i straight up and noticed the app opening time has been a little bit delayed compared to android 13 and you get here two types of file manager let's see whether i can yeah you can edit and change the label here that's oxygen 11 style and if you go into advanced and there are no options to disable this i don't know what's the problem here app info again nothing more here even in the advanced also nothing has been given if i can uninstall one among them that would have been better from the app drawer itself it's not happening here and this is the app drawer and this is a home screen there was even this one is also live wallpaper actually as you can see because of that the battery is draining a bit and even the cp throttling test what i shown you that is also because of these two things you need to consider here and this is a quick settings panel typical android 11 style oxygen os 11 in the edit section you get some more options here even dolby atmos support is also there and directly you can move into settings here which is fine here this settings panel is fine even the quick settings panel all the toggles are also working fine no problem regarding that even in the screen recording options if i go into settings you get bitrate and even 4k yeah it's available video orientation you can select and audio source also you can select both the microphone and screen audio and these are the options you get here which is good in my opinion hide floating widget you can hide them out these are the quick settings panel and if i hold and press here you get widgets i don't think so anyone used android 11 widgets and home settings it's again a oxygen i mean the one plus launcher you can see here quick search gestures has been disabled if you want you can enable them and double tap to lock is there shelf and swipe down to access and add icons to home screen if you want you can disable them and notification dot options has been given here those are going to work fine and icon pack also you can change from here this is the home screen customization you will get from here again if i press and hold here there are wallpapers as you can see you can even keep the your device wallpapers and there are some few i'll keep the static one let's see whether will it make any difference in the battery life this how it looks and camera let's drag this i have installed this arno build gcam let me show you into the settings as you can see this is the version of arno build gcam using and you can change the uh, xml i'm using yeah let me try to show it out and camera quality is fine using this particular gcam if you want you can use any other gcam my favorite is arno build this latest one and advanced you can see here configuration i already 
kept that as you can see this is the configuration xml file i am using here if you want you can change them the camera quality is fine just select this uh, into the settings and select this selfie as preview then it will be fine and uh, one more thing regarding google photos it is you won't get any unlimited storage option that's a bummer i have noticed in this particular rom and drm information again you get level 1 certification watching ott application is not a problem in this particular rom safety net status let's check as you can see it get passed you can use all the payment applications phone pay google pay all going to work fine even google maps are working fine whatsapp is also working fine here you get this games application here i haven't installed any game as of now tired playing them all the games getting banned or dismissed by themselves then what we users will do you can play any type of battle royale games it going to work fine and uh, dolby atmos you can see here app opening time could have been better and as you can see you get basic four type of customization and even you can enhance the dialogue and bass from here that's how it is and moving into benchmark results you can also get the app opening time here as you can see how long it took and 2 lakh 77 and 60 665 is the score and temperature raise was 1.5 degree celsius and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of entity which is good in my opinion even the geek bench scores you can see uh, this app opening time also taking a little bit of time and 493 is a single score and 1461 is a multi score and one more thing is uh, the kernel user is link 4.14.240 puff the one more thing is there are two variants of this rom i have flashed de bloated one if you want you can use bloated but there is a problem i have seen in the telegram that people complaining in the bloated version the google play store is getting crashed you need to use play store fix uh, from recovery in that you need to add if you follow my method no need to worry regarding that if you use bloated then it will be different in my opinion and uh, moving into settings let me yeah i explained everything let's move into settings this is how the settings panel look you get all the basic settings like adaptive brightness is working fine sleep timer you can adjust up to 30 minutes advanced settings you get notch display if you want hide the notch area you can hide them screen calibration you get advanced options also but it will not make any difference I kept to vivid only it's working fine and apps to display in full screen if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can enable from here that's cool and vision comfort there are some options it will not make any huge difference and dark mode you should enable manually it's fine it's in pitch black condition no problem regarding that reading mode you get options here vibrant color effect i turned on but nothing difference ambient display again if you turn off this you might get a very good battle but it is essential it depends upon user to user screen saver is also and these are the display settings and customization you get again these things i already explained in the home screen settings and sound and vibration again vibration separate toggle has been given on silent mode also you can enable or disable from here dolby atmos as i said before do not disturb mode you get these kind of options here check out efo mode is also given you can enable or disable some of the options from here system sounds again it's fine touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here buttons and gestures again these are the options magic show if you touch that it, the entire settings panel get restarted and navigation bar and gestures you get traditional navigation bar settings and navigation gesture settings those are the options you get security and lock skin you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock face unlock let's keep the face unlock let's check out add face data there is this option auto unlock once the screen is on let's turn this on and face unlock assistive lighting is also there given and i have already kept the fingerprint unlock and there is no app lock here that's how it is and moving into privacy again you get these kind of settings here location as i said before google maps are working fine accounts you get and google settings utilities you get here app locker and parallel apps and quick reply in landscape you can enable or disable from here schedule power on off that's there 
that's it these are the settings you get into system again language and input otg storage unit enable from here that's how it is and i'll show you quickly the fingerprint unlock speeds no it's not getting okay as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the fingerprint unlock let's check the face unlock is it yeah it's also quick to unlock using the face unlock but it uh, it's not as fast as what we see in MIUI type of ROMs that's how it is I hope explained everything in this ROM everything is working fine gaming I don't know how it handles but if you ask me to use it as a daily driver I don't recommend this because we had previously very good ports for this redmi note sample regarding oxygen os even the oxygen os 11 the old ports like mclaren edition like that those are having much better experience than this one i think you need to give some more time to this particular rom or wait for two to three days and check if it is still like similarly as i shown in the video then you can switch out to different roms that's the verdict of this oxygen os one plus 70 port for redmi note 7 pro it's smooth definitely it's going to be a good rom if it can optimize well after few days or if they can release one more update then it would be better in my opinion we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now